Welcome back to my channel, I'm Sean. I'm Chris. This is Jujutsu Kaisen chapters 80 to 84. We are back in the real timeline too. Uh, so last week we, you know, ended the flashback in the main series and we also went back to read the prologue where we met uh, Yuta, the cursed child. It was pretty cool. Mm. Uh, very good little introduction to the whole series. Uh, a lot of similar similarities between Yuji and Yuda, so that's going to be interesting if he indeed is the character that comes back. Mm. But yeah, kind of keen to see where we're going with, uh, you know, in the present. Yeah, pretty much it for the recap. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, yeah, we're hit. we have Discord down below. Got a part, not got a high school. Jesus Christ. Tower of God, oh, One Piece, school. solo leveling, and Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes. Uh, Twitch live streams here and here. Let's do it. All right, straight into it. Chapter eighty. Need a hand. Uh, zombie lad is fighting against uh, Mechamaru. Well, the real body of Mechamaru. Put it. He's my toy. And then this man is just like Sasori. He's got a puppet master. He's just chucking Mechamaru's at him. Okay. What the fuck was that? Mojito. Oh, okay. So he's winding up for a backhand. Oh, okay. And then and he's. Then is that Luffy's move? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Mechamaru's gone. He's got gear third. Wiped him out. So he ran away. I guess he doesn't have any reason to kill us. Boring. I feel like. Hunting, I just want to fight, and the ground breaks underneath him. Oh, he doesn't feel like hunting. he just wants to punch something. <laughs> and then a massive explosion comes up. I think it's water that explodes as well. Okay. Uh, haha, that's more like it. He was like under a dam or something, or just underwater. Oh. Oh, oh it's, it's the braid boss. <laughs> Fused Mechamaru. Oh, wait, ultimate Mechamaru mode, absolute. Armored Puppet, Ultimate Mechamaru, Trial Production, number zero, Prototype. Uh, to think that you were tinkering away on something like this. You're not a shut-in for nothing, huh? You're inside it, aren't you? You don't want me touching you, after all. The pilot seat, the concentration of spirit is in the head. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's powering up like a... What do they call those things for Pacific Rim? Uh, the Jaegers? Yes. <laughs> He's just sitting in there like that. Um, amplification functions, normal. Sensor feedback, blocked. Oh, there's a curtain. It has to be ghetto. And it's not just to trap me. The curtain's interfering with all signals. Guess this won't go as smooth, smoothly as it would have with Gojo. Wait. What? Did he just diss Gojo? <laughs> oh boy, you're dead. Oh. <laughs> you, what? Was it designed for Gojo? Interesting. Is he delusional? I think so. And then he's just like, yep, my victory depends on Gojo. Is he counting on him to come help him out then? No matter what. I think what, that's what he's saying. Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. No matter what, I need to get in contact with Gojo so he can... to tell him about the Shibuya plans and get rescued. Right. Uh, uh, but even if I focus on Ghetto and his curtain, Mahito still remains a huge threat. I'll have to exercise Mahito first. Okay. Saying it like he can. Uh, go ahead, don't mind me. Get the outlook isn't good, but there's still a chance. Mm. I've seen everything. Okay. okay. All his abilities. All those years tied down, accumulating all this cursed energy. Oh. It won't hold back. And it's got time storage. Off. And then... That Miwa, I think. One year's charge. Mecha Maru, burn it up. Oh my goodness. That's rather powerful. This man's been... Oh, he blew up the whole freaking bridge. He's So, the activity limit is him literally storing cursed energy for 17 years. <laughs> and it cost a whole year to burn that bridge. <laughs> Look at Mahito's face, though. That's value right there. Mm. 
Oh wait, no, he's fine. I dodged. Uh, is, is he planning to run my cursed energy out by burning me? I'll drag you out of here. Oh. Mechamaru's attacks won't be enough to damage my Hito. My Hito knows that too now. He's, he's just chasing him on the... I guess it's it's a dam. Yeah. And dam, then it's a dam wall. They're, doing, they're like falling down the side. He's doing the old, you know, Naruto Sasuke flying down the side of a yeah. cliff kind of thing. He's got his feet like transform into what, rabbit feet or something like that temporarily. And now he's a fish. He's off. Um, then oh. Ultimate Mechamaru turns around. Powering up two year charge. Miracle Cannon. He, wait, he just hits like straight down. The water beneath him. Mahito changes, oh. grabs Mikamaru. Mahito went back down. The curse is paying no attention to my attacks. So now it's finally time for this. And okay. then he's got an ace up his sleeve, it looks like. Interesting. Is that one of the controls that he's holding, or is that something else? I figure it's the control. Let's just, but we'll see. Let's just go back real quick. Where is he? Yeah, I think it's a control. All right, so that is it for the first chapter. That was very quick. <laughs> yeah, pure action chapter. Yeah, full on action chapter. Okay, chapter eighty one. So Mito grabbed him, and then he's just making his fist bigger and then punching Ultimate Mekamaru. Having a great time. So powerful. If I'm not careful, my armor will break apart. Or maybe it's not the controller maybe it is something else it's like a handle up there he turns it jujutsu technique charge i've got four chances left mido has got wings now let's finish this one of his fingers open up then it's like locking on mahito's zooming there he goes fire makamaru hits him in the wing oh um i guess he's been tagged useless this whole time haven't you learned anything and then his wing blows off <laughs> so it like sticks into his wing and then it blows up his left arm it's like very reminiscent of loki catching the arrow in the first avengers and then it explodes on him <laughs> it's just like crap <laughs> okay so mechamaru goes for the slap and then, wait, his arm's actually gone. What's going on? My soul was destroyed? Wait, so does that mean he can't gen that back? Okay. Hmm. So Mech coming in with a flurry. Yeah. Uh, he's flying away with one wing. Oh. Uh, Damn I it, a bird again. How dull. He regenerated. Oh, no, he does the have arm two. I blew away. No. He manipulated the shape of his soul to make it look like it regenerated. Okay. The fact that he's trying to conceal his wounds is a good sign. Just keep just keep at it. So it's working. It's just Mahito can shape his soul to look like it hasn't been affected anyway. Fair enough. Ghetto's just chilling, watching on the sideline. It's working. He has skills. It's likely only temporary, but his release of cursed energy is on par with a special grade. His strategies against Mahito are pretty decent too. At this rate, he might just... Oh, he's going for a big one. Five year charge. Vision Viola. Damn, five years? <laughs> That's We're spending it like it's... That's like she has a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so Mahito is just flying and he's firing off five... Like laser balls at him. Mahito is just he's just too quick though. Two, that was really good though. Kind of a like a couple of them hit the bridge. He's just jumping over. Uh first I need to figure out which one of his attacks is effective against my soul. Oh swing thing. comes in, it connects. Oh wait, that Mecha Mario's in there too with the punch. Yeah. Okay. Mahito backs off. Holy Jesus, I can do this. <laughs> uh, Jujutsu technique charge, I can win. Oh. I'm going to meet up with everyone. Okay. He was looking at him. Oh, 
Okay, we got the domain expansion. Oh, this is good. Look at this. <laughs> No, no. He's already not. making the symbols in there. He's literally made arms inside his mouth oh. <laughs> to um create the domain expansion. Here it is. Self embodiment of perfection. Yikes. And now we're done. Uh oh. Uh, what is that? Badum, badum? It's, it's like his heart no. beating. He's a I'm little bit worried. With everyone. Oh. <laughs> well. Does he have a domain expansion too? I would say no. But if anything, wouldn't Mechamaru be his domain? Yeah, that's what I. Like he's already in it, kind of thing. Mm, you know, maybe he sacrifices the rest of his cursed years to. Yeah. Create a domain expansion. Interesting. There's two chapters down. Eighty-two. <laughs> Mahito just sits down. Oh, chapter two is evening festival part three. And now we're done. So, idle transfiguration. What is he doing? He's just falling over, I think. Even if I don't touch you directly, once you're in my domain, it doesn't matter. You must have known that. As there are only 10 more days until Halloween. Did you think I'd conserve my cursed energy and not use my domain? Ten days is more than enough time to get back to full strength. So don't put much of your hopes and dreams into your strategy. It's so awkward that I don't know how to react. Why is Halloween important? I think they were planning something on Halloween. Is it... I I wonder if that's, like, part of, like... You know how humans have to have, like, negative energy to feel cursed energy kind of thing? Yeah. Maybe what if, like, like, Halloween is, like, where people have like fake negative energy to create an abundance of cursed energy yeah it's like a time where they just suck it all up <laughs> yeah just grow more powerful naturally kind of thing so oh mahito gets stabbed wait yeah mecha mario just comes through gives him the old middle finger through the chest uh -huh. it's actually the middle finger nice. <laughs> it is <laughs> it's a weapon the curse technique is sealed in these tubes. This is the only way I could make that curse technique work. There are okay. four tubes. The first failed. The second was to protect the driver's seat from his domain. And the third... Okay. During oh. the Hyene era? Mm. Oh, this is all you did. <laughs> uh, Suratsuna Aisha created a certain technique. At the height of Jujutsu Sorcery. In order to protect his disciples from evil curses and curse users, this technique was born. The technique was passed down his family. Uh, intentionally spreading this knowledge to outsiders is strictly prohibited. This technique is used to protect oneself from a domain expansion. It is known as the domain for the weak. That's his cockpit right now because he did that. New shadow style, simple domain. I've seen it all. Oh, it's like Miwa's as well, of course. Oh. Now Mikamara's exploding? Oh, that's Mahito, dude. Yeah, he's... The domain, like, fails. Or, like, ends. And then, yeah. Is that a victory screech? Oh, no, that is Mahito. Damn, okay. Victory screech from Mikamara? What is... <laughs> is this leftover? Oh, no. Yeah. Simple domain. A domain neutralizes all curse techniques. Once trapped inside a domain, even the great Gojo cannot avoid being hit. Mm -hmm. The word simple is misleading. If another domain is activated inside a domain, even the caster of the first domain, uh, Mojito, will be vulnerable. I won't let you be a spectator anymore, Ghetto. Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> that was a fortunate miscalculation. There's one tube that contains simple domain. I can still fight Ghetto with nine years worth of cursed energy. Are you sure? No. <laughs> I can win. I'm going to meet up with everyone. No. Kaya Mekamaru. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. So the whole cockpit and Mekamaru is just crumpling away. Oh, right. My hero is punched through, straight through it. Uh, obviously, he's just like, eh? What is that smile on Mahito's face? 
Okay. Oh, dude, he's so creepy. He's got, like, he's just made of arms right now. Oh, he's crawling around inside the cockpit. Did I miss my chance? I still have one tube of domain left. I'll get him with a direct hit. What is that? That is fucking disgusting. Oh, my goodness. Like, props to the author, but what? It's like a cursed caterpillar. It, instead of legs, it's arms. Ew. Okay, so Mechamaru's going in uh, with the final tube, and Mahito is preventing it. He's got some, like, arms there to catch it. And then we're somewhere else right now. Hey, Mechamaru, you think I can come visit you sometime? That's Miwa. Ever since we played baseball at the Goodwill event, I feel like we've all become closer. Maybe it's the nature of being a Jujutsu sorcerer, but even if you were friendly with the with each other, there's always the distance between us. I guess if we got too close, it would be too much to bear once we lose someone. But you know what? I really like being with everyone here. I mean, even though you couldn't participate in the baseball game, uh, you were a pitching machine for being That's right. safe. It was the baseball thrower. <laughs> I'd like it if we could get to know each other better. So I promise I'll come see you one day. Okay. I Cutting it a little close, don't you think? I and then think Mechamaru is just bleeding out. It. Yeah. <laughs> I purposely timed my explosion for when he activated his technique. And once I deactivated my domain, he thought I was dead. It went according to plan. Nothing close about it. He says that after getting blasted like three times. So that was a simple domain, huh? It's nice that we got to see something good before the main event. Yeah. We also finished adjusting the terms of the commissioned curtain. There will be no problem endowing the others with cursed energy and empowered words now. Okay. October 31st, 2018. Shibuya. Ah, yes. So the new arc. Here we go. <laughs> this is what everyone's been praising. Okay. We got two chapters remaining. I'm breezing through these today. Yeah, these are pretty quick ones. Very heavily combat focused. 83. So, uh, record of the incident October 31st, 2018 at 7 p.m. A curtain with a 400 meter radius was cast centered at the Tokyo Department Store. Uh, oh, Tokyo Department Store, Tokyo Branch. It's a curtain that only traps civilians. Civilians can only enter. As for windows, that depends on the person. What is a window? Is that like someone else getting in? Yeah, I guess. Um, Jiu-Jitsu sorcerers, as well as auxiliary managers, can come and go as they please. Any reception, that's blocked. All communication will have to be done outside the curtain, or through us, the managers. So he's... Oh, there at the Tokyo Metro should be a station near exit 13. And it's like an hour after 8.14. Sounds like quite the pain. Oh, yes. Uh, Fushiguro, Fushiguro. And then we got the Nanami team. Yeah. And we got Kento. We got Takuma. We got Megumi. Oh, yeah. Wait, they're both being... Yeah, that's right. Uh... Every, that's right. Everyone got recommended for, what, grade one sorcerer? Yeah, I think so. Like, yeah, definitely grade one, yeah. And yeah, so looks like we've split up. Um, curtains. The condition that can be used to increase or decrease the barrier's effectiveness are usually only things related to cursed energy. So basically, humans, cursed spirits, and cursed objects. Therefore, reception being blocked is a secondary effect of the curtain, but the curtain can't actually block or allow reception. So it was added into the curtain. You know, it's not a... How do you say that? It's not an automatic process. And Megumi's just like, yeah, dude, I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know, he's an excellent student. Stop trying to show off just because you're a holder. What, you what do you mean by that, Nanami? And where is Gojo? 
Ah, yes. No one's here at the busy intersection in front of the station on Halloween night. <laughs> Looks like something bad went down. Everyone is spread out near the curtains per perimeter, and they're all begging for the same thing. Meanwhile, Shibuya Mark City Restaurant Avenue entrance outside the curtain. Bring Satoru Gojo. <laughs> it's not a bait at all. <laughs> okay. So we have, oh, the Zanian team. Hmm. There's no way a non-sorcerer would know him. They were told to say it. So we have now Beto Zanian, Supreme Grade 1 Sorcerer, the head of the family, I believe. Uh, Marky Zanian, of course, Grade 4 Sorcerer, currently assessed for promotion. And Nobara Kugisaki, Grade 3, currently assessed for promotion. Uh, old guy oh, I don't even say this oh we just go master Zane how about that we can't break the curtain it's tough after all the curtain isn't restricting sorcerers from either side it's not something we can destroy with brute force it'll be quicker to locate and take out the cursed user who summoned the curtain so we're here to help with that nope you're all on standby here <laughs> an advanced barrier technique and asking for Satoru Gojo they have to be the same culprits as the Goodwill event incident. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, Junior Shibuya Station Shin Minami Minami entrance outside the curtain. The authorities are in the structuring. Wait, sorry. The authorities are instructing Satoru Gojo to work alone okay. in order to surpass the Shibuya incident and suppress the Shibuya incident and to minimize damages. Oh. Grade 1 Sorcerer at Tokyo School, second year teacher at Soya... I don't know. At Soya Kusakabe. <laughs> so, wait, wait, wait. So they're setting up all these teams around the curtain. Hmm. And then they've got... The top guys have just said, yeah, Gojo, fix it. <laughs> Bloody hell, Gojo's just carrying everything. <laughs> the other guys are just on support. Okay. The pandas with uh, the teacher here. Uh, us, Nanami, the Zanian Giza, and Mei Mei. We're all just supposed to hang out around the perimeter of the curtain and take care of whatever gets past Gojo. There it is. Besides, we can't even communicate with inside the curtain. So, Kusakabe team. Atsuya Kusakabe is grade 1, teacher, sorcerer, and panda. Promotional assessment on hold. Uh, minimize damage. You mean sorcerers, right? What about civilians? Calm down. Unlike last year's Christmas event, we're already too late. To be honest, I think it's for the best. Also, I actually went and peeked inside the curtain earlier. It was kind of peaceful. Sure, people were in a panic, but I didn't see any curses or curse users running around killing people. Right now, they're just trapped. Uh, that said, I'm definitely not going back in there. Why? <laughs> I think it was the Shibuya, what is this, Hikari yeah. building. I'm pretty sure there were a bunch of special grade curses in the basement. What's going on? Why can't we get out? Meanwhile, oh my god, Bunk Amura, Bunk Amura. Wei, <laughs> Dojin Zakar, yep. Mitch Ohm East. Nikome. <laughs> Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> what are these names? Good job. Inside the curtain. <laughs> Hurry <laughs> up and bring Satoru Gojo here. It's Japanese, bro. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm civilians sorry. are just hitting the curtain. <laughs> uh, who the heck is Gojo? Uh, like if I know, but they said if he doesn't show up, we can't get out. Who said that? I don't know. Everyone. Man. Ladies on their phones. OMG. Guys who can't keep their cool are so not okay. <laughs> well, the fact that we can't get through is like something out of a horror movie. But it's not a big deal, right? Someone will come and rescue us soon. Oh, but there's no signal. And then someone else is... You guys didn't see it? They were all sucked in, huh? All those people at the intersection right into the station. Like a bathtub draining water? And there's a picture of it there. Yikes. 
or else we would have gone home by the train too. Isn't that obvious, you uneducated moron? Whoa. What? <laughs> then use your education to get through that thing. And then Gojo shows up. Sorry. He just taps him, him as he comes in. 8.31 p.m., Satoru Gojo arrives. Okay, he's an hour and a half late, but he is here. 8.38 p.m., Hikari Shin Q's B14, basement level one. Oh, okay. my goodness. Sheesh. It's a dress-up party. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> the curtain above ground that's trapping non-sorcerer originates from somewhere down below, huh? Sorry, coming through. He's just standing Bro, right <laughs> He's crowd surfing, except walking. <laughs> he just jumps up on... It looks like he lands on a railing here, but here he's just flying. Hmm. I think I get what they're after. And then bring it on. He just goes down towards the subway. So Gojo Sensei is going in alone. 839, Oyama Cemetery. So this is Yuji. Understand why, but we gotta help somehow. Uh, we can go in his backup. Yep. That's why we're heading to Shibuya. Oh, we are? Who is this? Ish, making you go as backup. Who does Satoru think Go- Satoru Gojo think he is? This is Mei Mei's younger brother. I- I I? Ui? <laughs> it's UI UI. How would you- Ui Ui? <laughs> Uh, I'll give you an attempt at this one. I'm just going to go with U I Y. <laughs> U -I -Y. Uh, just say Y Y. Y Y. Wee wee. Y Y, do we have to be subjected to this? <laughs> Alright, we're going to call him U. It's not confusing at all. We can't call him that because the next. Okay. Just go U U. U U. Perfect. So, Mimi is here. You can't think of him as a normal guy. You're not a normal lady either. Oh, you, you. You're so cute. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't really think that. What you love isn't family. You're more interested in work. You're quite the smart one. I love that about you. Mei Mei team. Mei Mei, grade one sorcerer. You, you. Uh, Yuji Itadori, grade one promotion assessment on hold. Wait, what is this? This guy doesn't even have a description. He's not a know. sorcerer. Is he uh, actually good. just a relation and then just... That doesn't sound safe. What's going on there? Let's go already. This is Mei Mei. Huh? Itadori, we're changing course. <laughs> Another curtain like the one in Shibuya just appeared at Meiji Jingu Mei Station. Perfect. <laughs> nice. We're heading there. Okay. So they're legging it. We're going to run, so keep up. Sure. Oh, oh. oh, it's time. Oh, it's Toaster Man. <laughs> Let me sit up. <laughs> Here we go. There. I've forgotten this guy's name, but this guy is essentially a volcano. Uh, there you are. Gojo lands. There's tons of people like on the station platform, and he's in the middle too. <laughs> Look at ya, all ready to go. Oh, there's a couple of them. Mm. Okay, so uh, Fukutoshin line platform, 8.40 p.m. Tokyo Metro basement five. No excuses if you lose again this time, okay? Don't you worry about us. Just be sure to have your first ever excuse ready. Okay? Okay. All three of them. Uh, so this is chapter 84, last one for the video. Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 84, the Shibuya incident part two. Okay. Don't bother, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> That's a sigh too. If I run away, you're just going to kill everyone here, right? Well, I mean, that's why I'm here. <laughs> what are those two talking about? You mean four? You can see them. Oh, I can't see them. Well, yeah. If you run away, we're going to do that. Okay. And they kind of come in. 
Huh? What? Even if you don't? Oh, right. Oh, okay. They're going to kill them regardless. Nice. Let's just get him in the way. This is... It's going to sort out a few priorities right here. Uh-oh. So, all of, a lot of the civilian... It's so packed. They're just falling onto the tracks. Okay. Gojo is kind of taken by surprise. What is... He did that before, did he? No, no, no. So Gojo jumped down and the tree, the tree chick, the special uh, grade. Hanami or whatever. Blocked the, yeah, blocked the entrance. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, blocking the exits created a blind spot. I can't tell if there are people on the other side. And that he's actually just going Oh, he's in. just slaughtering them. My goodness. Holy Jesus, these panels. So Look at the bottom left one. Yikes. <laughs> these guys get their heads like. Just clean slice. So the volcano lad is literally just eating people going straight through them. And blood manipulation. As, did you ever watch the show Heroes? No. There was a guy called Silas. And he would cut the heads off people like that. That was kind of creepy. <laughs> like that. Yeah, Slicing exorcism. Gojo comes in with an attack I think. Oh that's the blood one. I think he just blocks it. Oh, they're double teaming Gojo. Ooh. So we've got the Volcano dude and Hanamari, I think you said her name is. Hanami or something, yeah. Hanami, okay. They're coming in. The Infinity stops the punch. They can't reach. I don't know what's happening in this panel. They're kind of just engaged. It's just like a frozen. What's happening here? Oh, wait. Are they both activating their domains at the same time? Anami and Volcano, just to try and reach him. What's going on here? There's a good panel. I skipped it pretty quick, but there's a good panel. Gojo just goes straight up. So that's the plan, huh? I should have figured, considering you're working with a curse user. The main amplification looks like it's the same as New Shadows, Simple Domain. If you think of simple barrier techniques as a box or prison that traps its target, oh my goodness, then domain amplification would be as if you're being surrounded by water. Maybe it's similar to the feeling when you initially push back against a domain. The chances of an attack missing will increase, but it will always neutralize the technique. With this method, I'm now vulnerable to their attacks. Okay. Do you know when Satoru Gojo is in his element? Now for the chit chat, just tell me. It's when he's alone. Mm. Well, okay. yeah, that's why they brought all the people. It doesn't matter who the sorcerer is. Anyone who fights alongside him just gets in the way. Mm -hmm. So let's use the even more inferior non-sorcerers to restrict <laughs> his movements. Mm. Curse technique reversal outputs at least twice as much energy as curse technique laps. It's almost impossible for there to be no collateral damage to non-sorcerers. It would be hard for him to use his blue technique like normal. Using blue for the high speed is difficult too. For now, sorcerers, it would be like dumping energy on them. Okay. Okay. They would die instantly if it touched them. Oh. Considering all this, Satoru Gojo will have to take a defensive stance. What do we do about his unlimited void? <laughs> Uh, Satoru Gojo's unlimited void domain probably doesn't affect him or anyone he's touching. Let's suppose he's skilled enough to allow only you guys inside. There'll be a significant number of non-sorcerers who will get crushed between unlimited void and the curtain. I'm 99% sure Satoru Gojo won't use domain expansion. That said, you guys can't use domain expansion either. If you trap a lot of non-sorcerers inside your domain, you'll give him no choice but to cast one as well. In a domain battle, you know who would win, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just make sure you kill him. Wait, sorry. Just make sure you kill time and make him think about curse countermeasures and how to save the non-sorcerers. I need at least 20 minutes. After that, you can leave the rest to me and Prison Realm. Oh. I thought we said no running away. Went back in real time. You need some more convincing. Just, 
Whoa. Oh. <laughs> he just takes a guy's head off. This guy is a ruthless. And then he cooks him. <laughs> well, I'm surprised. What? You making excuses? Nah, Baldy. <laughs> I'm surprised you thought you could beat me. Oh. <laughs> the mask Using your sorry excuse for a brain. <laughs> Look at this hey. guy. <laughs> hey, we. This is our third time meeting, right? And you still haven't learned, you're going down first. <laughs> Ghetto is all... Oh. Yeah, no, nah, make him think about what he's doing. I feel like next video going to be hype. Oh. <laughs> Damn. That's a, good, that's a good way to end it. That's a good way to end it. Volcano and weed are about to die. <laughs> Holy crap. That was uh, a very quick and strong start to the next mini arc, I want to say, in mm. this story. Oof. definitely looking forward to how this well what is coming next will you reckon he's gonna fall for ghetto's plan like i reckon he's grown past what's ghetto's it. plan again he wants to seal him right he wants to prison him like they got they got a hold of a relic that will let them seal him away okay okay okay, okay. so that's why these two are here stalling that he's not supposed to be fight gojo isn't supposed to be fighting them the other two are supposed to be Trying to keep him on the edge so he doesn't attack and just kill them. <laughs> See, the thing is, you know, like in the flashback, yeah, Gojo wasn't too against slaughtering people. He's like, you remember, yeah, like when yeah. he beat Fushiguro's dad, and then Ghetto's like, what do we do about everyone else? Yeah. And this was like that church or whatever, the religion. Yeah, yeah. He's like, we can just slaughter them. I don't care. Like, do you think he cares enough about the humans to not slaughter them? You know it's, what I mean? It's exactly the same kind of question. He's not exactly the perfect hero type. Let's just go with that. Like, if mm. he sees a chance to take down people, like villains like this. Yep. And some people get in the way that he know can't be helped, like saving. He's probably still going to take that route and do it anyway. Okay. Like, he might hesitate a little bit, but... Yeah. I feel like Gojo will get the job done. <laughs> if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm definitely keen for the next set. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It just got beefy really quick. It really did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's probably about it for this one. Yep. Let us know down below what you thought of the video and the chapters, and we will see you for the next one. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Catch you next time.